Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem El Shah. Bashem Kakodash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of great wisdom. Peace and salutations to our brothers doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right, the focus of this lesson is um, going to be Romans chapter 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, if you if you look at the um, New Testament Hebrew, which I have pulled it up right here, as you can see, Romans, you know, Romans chapter 13, I mean, chapter 10, verse 13, you know, for whosoever shall call on the name of, what is it, eh, Yahweh shall be saved. And it says the same thing right above it, right here. It says the same thing right here and right here. So like up under it, right here under it. Both of these is the name of the Lord. The one on the top is the uh, Paleo Hebrew, and the one on the bottom is Assyrian Hebrew. You know, so it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. You know, because one thing about um, the Lord, you must know his name in order to call upon him. So you must know the name of the Lord in order to call upon him. I believe it was in the book of Psalms. Yeah, here you go. Here's the one. Um, Psalms 15 and 15. Just a quick precept because you know what the scripture says about precepts. I'm going to get that. Um, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Now, um. One nineteen and one hundred four. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. You know. So, one thing about um, knowing the name of the Lord is you must know it in order to call upon Him. Because one thing about when He took when th one thing about uh, when when we was in slavery, you know, He took His name from us. You know, because if we was if we would have called upon Him. He would have answered us, and he would have came and saved and delivered us. But guess what? The Lord took Hebrew completely away from us, man. You know, which our heritage was beat up out of us, man. You know, our heritage was beat up out of us. You know, remember Psalms chapter 83. You know, they wanted to stop that name, Yasha Allah, you know, because that's what it is in Hebrew. You know, that, that name being remembered no more. You know, and they did for a point of time, but it's, it, you know, the history which, you know, it's a lot of history out there that, you know, you have certain places that have Hebrew writings, you have Hebrew stones, and guess what? The name of the Lord is on those stones, man, you know? And his name is Yahweh, so you must know the name of the Lord in order to call upon him, and that's very important. And that's how that's how we, that's how everything is happening on earth, because we call him up in the name of the Lord. And guess what? The Lord is answering us, man. He's hearing us, man. You know, he's hearing our cry. <clears throat> uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I'm telling you that the Lord is going to avenge. He's going to avenge his elect, man. Because guess what? I mean, they call upon his name. The Lord hears us. He hears us. He hears our prayers. You know, the Lord is inclining his ears. The scripture says his ear is not empty that he can't hear. You know? And best believe, man. He listens, man. Psalms chapter 50, I mean Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, Yahweh's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. So he hears his name in the earth, man. You know, when the Lord Every every single day, the Lord hears his name in the earth, man. You know, and you think the Lord is not going to do something about it? He hears his name every day. Every second, he hears his name, man. You know, because the elect is pushing out his name. And the name is very important. I don't give a damn what them other camps say, man. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Let's 
Psalms chapter 18, verse 10, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. You know, so wherever you see the Lord in all caps or Lord in all caps in the Hebrew, if you go to it, that's the name of the Lord. And I'm going to prove it real quick. Wait, what scripture was that? Psalm Proverbs 18 and 10. <clears throat> you know, the name of Yahweh is very important. And it's like it says, it's a strong tower. Uh, bear with me one second. Uh, fucking up. 18 Psalms 18 and 10. <clears throat> As you can see, when you go to um, the concordance, it says of the Lord, which you see right there. Click on that and look at in the top, you know, up here by where it says H3068 is Yahweh. And that's the same thing that was in uh, this right here, right here. It's the same name. It's the same characters. Yahweh. You know, it's the same name, man. Uh, where was I? No, I was in the blue letter. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, this is the name of Yahweh. I mean, the name of the Lord. And as you can see, it says Lord, God, or, you know, which it says that, which that's not the name of the Lord. His name is Yahweh. You know. <clears throat> but um, as you can see, man, you know, that is proven what the name is. When you go to the concordance of the uh, of it, Strong's H thirty sixty eight, you know Yahweh, you know. So as you can see, you know, prove you gotta prove all things. So you gotta know the name of the Lord, you know, because He hears His name every day, and guess what? The Lord is gonna answer us very soon, and that's why these chariot sightings are increasing. Because of that video of that guy in Mexico when he seen those four chariots, man. They was clear as day. You know, the Lord, these, they can't hide these chariots no more. And the, that right there shows us the Lord is finna do something, man. He finna make his move, man. The Lord finna do something. He finna deliver his elect. His elect is almost sealed, man. If not sealed already, but the Lord is finna do something, man. Very soon, you know. So, you know, continue to call upon the name of the Lord. Don't give the Lord no rest. And I'm going to end it on description. Don't give the Lord no rest. Psalm, I mean, Isaiah 62 and uh, 6. I, ha I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which is talking about the prophets, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So the, the elect men of the Lord are not holding their peace because constantly calling, to, calling on the name of the Lord. And if somebody was calling your name all day, every day, you get sick and tired of that. <laughs> you know, and we basically getting on the Lord's nerves, man. And that's what we got to do. You know, we got to get on his nerves, man. You know, cry constantly unto the Lord. Get on his nerves. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. So we're not supposed to, you know, keep silence, man. The Lord wants us to get on his nerves, man. Aggravate him, if you will. You know, and give him no rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Because if somebody was constantly calling your name and calling your name and calling your name, calling your name, you know, just saying like uh, in a literal sense, you would you would answer them or you would get tired of them calling your name. and You would be like, what? What do you want? You know, just in a literal sense, you know, and, then, you know, the Lord is going to answer real, real quick, man. He's going to answer with that destruction, man, and salvation. You know, so with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles who taught us this knowledge, you know, through the spirit and inspiration of Yahweh, Bahashem, El Shai. And I'm going to say Shalom to the brothers that are, you know, teaching this word, you know, and risking their lives to do so, you know, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, and Death to America. Shalom.